hi guys, how are you? I'm Sherry L. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, in the last episode, I started collecting all my old other strange rocks that I hadn't collected yet. And I put the... Well, I didn't... I, I put the pieces together while I wasn't recording. And I've now got a statue plant and a replica statue piece for my house. Um, I was going to start today, I was going to get like my rocks for next week. But I thought, fuck it, nah, you don't want to see me do that shit. So, instead of collecting rocks and skilling, I decided I was going to do a quest. Now, I may not complete the quest in this episode. But, I will get as much of it done as I possibly can. The quest I'm doing for you today is Ernest the Chicken. Um, from what I've read, it's a really fun quest. Okay, so I'm um, at the start of the quest. Um, I've just got to speak to um, Veronica here to start the quest. Can you please help me? I'm in a terrible spot of trouble. My fiance Ernest and I come upon this house. Excellent. Seeing as we were a little lost, Ernest decided to go in and ask for directions. That was an hour ago and that house looks spooky. Can you go and see if you can find him for me? Do it yourself. Thank you, thank you. I'm grateful. I think I spotted some lights flashing in one of the top floor windows. So you may want to head up there first. Adventurers beware! Going in doesn't mean you'll come out again. Do you still want to go in? Yes! Okay. I've never had to enter a house that's given me a warning about never coming out again. Uh. So she said the upper floors, right? Okay, there's a professor. Um. Ah, oh, chicken. I can't kill the chicken. Good. Gravy. Um. Uh, professor. On the stein. Be careful in here. There's a lot of dangerous equipment. Is there? I'm looking for a guy called Ernest. Ah, Ernest, top notch bloke. He's helping me with my experiments. So you know where he is? He's that chicken over there. That'll be why I can't kill it. Ernest is a chicken. Are you sure? Oh, he isn't normally a chicken. Or at least, he wasn't until he helped me test my polymorpher machine. It was originally going to be called a transmute, transmutation machine. But after testing it, polymorpher 
seems more appropriate. I'm glad she didn't actually get engaged to a chicken. Who's Veronica? Ernest's fiance. She probably doesn't want to marry a chicken. Oh, I don't know. She could have three eggs for breakfast every morning. Better change him back. Um, it's not so easy. My machine is broken, and this house has long been pestered by poltergeists. They seem to reap joy from hiding my belongings, and in this case, the vital parts to my machine. Well, I can look for them. That would be a huge help. They'll be somewhere in the manor, manor house or its grounds outside. I'm missing the pressure gorge and a rubber tube. They've also taken my oil can, which I'm going to need to get this thing started again. Any clues? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you found something in my IQ testing room under the manor where I test my creations. Oh, and if I were you, I'd stay away from the coffin in the basement. Even the poltergeist don't go near it. Oh. Alright. So, there's... a uh, coffin. Really, that might have something to do with the vampire um, quest that I've been reading about. So I found um, a guide. Now, I think there's something. Um, I think it's on this floor. Yeah, there it is. But it's going to take some doing to get to it. Um, did I go the wrong I went the wrong way again. I went through the wrong door. It was that door I wanted to go through. I didn't See, there's the blue box, which is fish food. I need to get the fish food so I can get the pressure board. Oh, go away, ghostly. Go away, ghostly. Go the fuck away. Leave me the fuck alone. There's um, rubber tube. Alright, I've found the fountain. Um, I think this is where the piranhas are. There seems to be a pressure gauge in here. Oh, there's a lot of piranhas. I can't get the gorge out. Gauge out, sorry. <laughs> fish food. And the poison. Poisoned fish food. And then we'll feed that to the piranhas. The piranhas start eating the food. Then die and float to the top of the surface. And float to the surface. Search fountain. There seems to be a pressure gauge in here. There's a loss of dead and a loss of dead fish. And we have the pressure gauge. And now I'm going to refer to my guide again. Um, if we go up here, this should be a compost heap. Yeah. Now we'll search in here. We should get a key. Yeah, there it is. Now I'll run back round to the front of the door and be sure that we can never leave again. At least I didn't get bitch slapped by a fucking tree this time. And I think I need to go there because I remember seeing it. Oh, Charlie! 
leave me alone. Take number two. Oh no. I'm gonna kill bones. And now with that skeletal um man is dealt with, we'll pick up bones. Oh, I'm the Yeah. And get the hell out of here. Just to be followed by the picking chairs again. Yay! Okay, so I do need to go through the other stairs. Um, apparently there's some over here. I'm hoping they're inside the house. rather confusing but I managed to get it um, and there's the oil can now let's get the fudge out of here I'm guessing I pull this lever to get out of here so got my chairs following me. I'm loved. I'm loved, but I don't want to be loved by the chairs. I'm sorry, chairs. Oh, my not. It's just too much. Bye. anything yet. Give them here then. Oh. Thank you, my lady. It was dreadful irritating. Dreadfully irritating being Thank you, my lady. It was dreadfully irritating being a chicken. How can I ever thank you? Cash reward is always nice. Of course, of course. You may as well have these eggs and feathers I mysteriously found in my pockets. And we've done the quest! Those feathers will definitely come in handy for fletching. To get the fletching rock. Which mad I did not enjoy trying to get at all. Any odd chicken? I completed that. I'm guessing that was a task or something. Which I may focus on um, in the next episode. Sorting out trying to do these um not the daily task. Um, basically, there's achievements you can um, complete um, to 
basically just do stuff. Um, I may focus doing a few in the next episode. What the fuck is that dude doing behind me? I'm going to leave this room because the person is scaring me. If you like this episode, drop me a like. To see more of what I do, check out my channel. If you got any ideas of what you want to see me do in the future, drop me a comment in the comment section below. Follow me on social media, links are in the description. But as always, I'll say bye bye, take care, have a good one, and don't forget to scribble!